Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about something that all of California, as far as the car community goes, is talking about. And a lot of you asked me to give my input on this and as far as what my understanding is or what I think the outcome will be as far as the law itself goes. But before we do that, I want to show you guys a video of something that happened a couple of weeks ago. I think it was towards the end of December. And I will um, show credits to who the video belongs to if you guys want to drop a like on this video or follow and so forth. And uh, I'll give you some guys some tools and tips as far as what you can do on your end to help out on the process. Here we go. Here's the citation. You also need to take to a state referee and have them verify all the components on this motor and this exhaust system, okay? okay. There'll be some information on this citation. You'll also receive something in the mail. Okay. All right? It's no longer correctable in California. Okay. Any modification to exhaustion you shall go before a judge and it's a thousand dollar fine. Yeah, I wasn't okay. aware of it. That changed last month due okay. to the takeovers and some of the street racing. I so get it. So unfortunately you're facing a thousand dollars buddy and we'll see you in court. Everything we do here is video camera. Alright, you guys be careful as you pull away. Okay. I recommend fixing it right away and not continuing to drive. We're on a federal grant right now. So there's about a dozen of us working this. We're gonna be working this every weekend. Okay. And two or three times during the week sporadically. All because of the fatalities involving cars similar to this. Not saying it was you guys, but you're driving one with the stuff, get it fixed. Okay. Otherwise, a thousand bucks every time. All right. All right, guys, be careful. Welcome back to the video. A uh, couple of things I want to mention about this whole new called law. It's not really a new law, it's been in existence. The only difference is now, instead of getting a fix it ticket, you're getting a mandatory thousand dollar fine and a state ref. Now, there were talks in the beginning of people saying, oh, it's only a fine, there is no state ref, they took away the state ref portion. But as far as we've seen so far, everybody that's gotten a ticket has gotten the $1,000 fine and has gotten the state ref. That being said, another thing I want to point out is that the officer mentions illegal street racing and illegal street takeovers. The reason I want to put an emphasis on the street takeovers is because a lot of Bystanders have, that have gone, have gotten hurt, or have had their vehicles impounded, and so forth. Now, myself and other enthusiasts in the past that have a following have asked everybody not to show up to these events and support them, whether you're a YouTuber or a car enthusiast and so forth. We've asked for you guys to stop showing because we all knew at one point or another we'd be facing something like this. Now. Going back to it, a lot of us didn't get an understanding as far as what this law is. Everybody was saying that, you know, they'll have one fine in the beginning and the second and third, or there won't be a state ref, so forth and so forth. Now, in the bottom of this video in the description, I will link you guys to a petition. If you believe this is uh, unfair, you can sign the petition and help out the cause and I'll put some reading materials as far as what you guys can do to help yourselves out in the situation if you get caught. Now back to the law itself, I do want to mention that in the law it states that your vehicle cannot be 95 decibels or higher. Now it also does mention that the officer needs to be able to um, measure it with a decibel reader before giving you the ticket. So again, I will give you guys a link on the bottom of the video in the description to be able to download the file from Bub's Muffler and read into it so you kind of get an understanding as far as what you've gotten yourself into. Now don't be surprised if you get an officer that tells you he doesn't need to do it and so forth and so forth. I suggest you print it out, keep it in your vehicle and show them that in order to give you that ticket they need to be able to prove that your vehicle is 95 decibels or higher. Now that there is certain rules and guidelines they need to be able to follow in order to be able to make sure that your vehicle follows the law or if it's whether higher and you get a ticket. Now do keep in mind the decibel reader does read other sounds within the surrounding area. Just make sure that whenever they're recording the sound you have some kind of proof that you were outside, inside or if it was in the room that I was echoing or if you got pulled over under a bridge or whatever the case may be. Now I'm not saying you can't have fun but with the amount of group, uh, people that you guys are able to gather you can rent out a large space or go to Irwindale Speedway and you know do as much as donuts as you want in the pit. 
it's, what is it gonna cost you 10, 15, 20 dollars to be able to do it safely without hurting anybody, without crashing into anybody. And that's another thing, you, you guys go to these takeovers, you start doing donuts, hit somebody, you injure them or kill them, what's the end, end story to that? Call it whatever you wanna call it, at the end of the day, this exhaust law is being enforced in a larger capacity than any other automotive law has been enforced in the past. We have cell phone laws that start at about a $70 fine for the first offense and hundreds of some dollars after that. Now, what I do want to also mention is cell phones cause more accidents and deaths in America than exhaust. When have you heard the last time that somebody passed away or got killed because of an exhaust? I do want to say again, this law is not fair and it doesn't represent the car community to its fullest because at the end of the day the car community does produce a lot of money for the state at the same time because companies offer products, we buy products, companies install these products, companies make money. Now with this law, not only are we hurting the businesses, are we hurting the car community and so forth. Again, if you want to be able to help out somehow, I will include some information in the description at the bottom and I will also include uh, the petition link if you want to sign the petition. Now whether the petition gets somewhere or doesn't, at the end of the day we know our voice is going to be heard. Now I do want to say don't do anything stupid. If you have an exhaust, be cautious and if you get pulled over, be nice to the officer because at the end of the day you don't want to misrepresent the community. And this goes back again to how our community is being looked at at the moment. We're looked at as criminals. At this point, that's what it is. We're looked at as criminals. Do I agree with that again? No, I don't. Am I worried about it? No, I'm not. Is the law going to be enforced fully in effect for the whole year or whatever the case may be? At the end of the day, you have a voice. Speak out. I'll include the information in the description again. Make sure to drop a comment on the bottom. Tell me what you think about this law or what needs to be done, so forth and so forth, and also make sure you sign the petition and hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys.